Okay, what we have here is the high voltage pulse generator. This is sheet three. Yeah, revision two. You can find it on the YouTube or the uh, photo bucket account I have for. There'll be a link to this video here. <clears throat> Basically, from the last video, we were driving a a relay with a function generator. Uh, you only get about 37 cycles per second out of it. And we had about 13 going on in the video. So what we're doing, we're driving the coil with a, uh, a 2N3055 transistor. You get that at Radio Shack. Uh, like again, this whole schematic will be on photo bucket. So we have a uh, double pull, double throw relay, and we're putting the uh, contacts in parallel. <clears throat> now this is going to control the power. We have two uh, 5K 100 watt uh, resistors wire wound. We have them in series. This donates the future. We'll have a variable on one of them, so you can go from 5K to 10K on resistance. That's critical. This here determine the power output. That's charging the capacitor C1 here. We're running about six microfarads of microwave oven capacitors here. Uh, we found out that six seemed to work best. The original schematic here was calling out about one. This is all going to be replaced with a transistor. It's, it's in the mail. So for now, we're using this here, running at 60 cycles, so we can run a transistor or transformer, regular 60 cycle transformer on the output. We happen to be using a microwave oven transformer, an MOT. Got a spark plug hooked up on here, so the output is going on to the spark plug, and we're firing it up like you normally plug it in here, 110 volts. So that's the output here. <clears throat> Again, the schematic is going to be on the uh, photo bucket, uh, and there you have it. We're, going to, we're powering the uh, transistor, 12 volts, and we're running. It's about 60. Times 10, 60 cycles. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna fire up <clears throat> the uh, relay right now, right here, 30 amp, and we're gonna turn the variac on to power up. We have a full bridge rectifier here, filtered, and we're gonna be looking at about a thousand volts here. We need about 700 to get the uh, spark plug going. Now that's AC. Let's turn it back on DC. There, we get the spark plug is just starting. Now we're going to turn it up to 1,000 volts. Yeah, a little under a thousand. Otherwise, the meter will keep making noise. And that's the amperage here. It's about 0.1 amp. It's a little less than 0.1 amp. And you can barely see any arc. And it's not putting a heavy load on that those contacts. So this is the transistor here that's firing up the relay. And this is the uh, that's the voltage. And that's the amperage output. And we'll look at the spark again. That's the spark. So once we get a transistor, we can run a higher frequency, about 30 to 40, 50,000, whatever we want. So we can power our Donald Smith circuit. But this will give us a pulse generator for any 60 cycle experiments you want to do with transformers. That's the voltage again, and there's the amperage. That's a little under 0.1 amps, so you can do the math, see what that works out to. There you have it.